Hi, so in this condition, we'd like to touch on this uh, specific medical condition known as female hypogonadism. So this condition is when the gonads, specifically the ovaries, are producing very little sex hormones. And this will lead to uh, the, the people who have this type of condition to have very uh, unpronounced or very little development of a primary and secondary sex characteristics. For example, the development of the breasts, the hip and pelvic growth and development, the fat distribution, and also the development of the reproductive system. All of these are very um, stunted and slowed down because of this condition, hypogonadism. So hypogonadism can be separated into two types. Firstly, is the primary hypogonadism, and secondly, is the secondary hypogonadism. Primary hypogonadism means that the problem lies uh, with the ovaries itself. Secondary hypogonadism means the problem is due to a problem in the brain. So primary hypogonadism means there is something wrong with the ovaries itself, which is causing this low secretion of uh, estrogen and progesterone. But a secondary hypogonadism means that there is a problem in the pituitary gland in your brain that is not uh, releasing these gonadotrophins that is supposed to stimulate your ovaries. So there's a defect here which is causing the same result but different cause so diagnosis for this type of condition is that we will do a blood test and we will find that your uh, hypogonad uh, the gonadotrophin levels are very low and also very low levels of sex hormones for example furthermore we will also do a physical examination of your uh, sex characteristics to further confirm your condition and uh, treatment for this condition is that uh, we will uh, introduce a surgery treatment known as an in vitro activation of ovarian cortex and usually when patients go for this type of uh, treatment they will regain their ability to uh, men, uh, menstru menstruate normally and uh, as per usual to, as a cycle each month and also gain the ability to conceive and have a pregnancy whereas before this treatment they don't even have a regular menses and also uh, usually considered infertile so uh, to keep in mind, we, will, we would like to recommend that uh, if you do seek treatment elsewhere, you should need to avoid going for hysterectomy because a hysterectomy is a, a very drastic and also very destructive uh, surgery. And once the uterus is actually removed, then uh, you have no uh, possible chance of getting uh, a natural pregnancy in the future. And also uh, without a present uterus, you also cannot undergo this uh, surgery treatment of ours so in conclusion for this type of treatment for this type of condition you should avoid hysterectomy and consider those that are less destructive if you'd like to find out more information about hypogonadism and its treatment you can visit our website here and also you can leave your questions down in the comments below